What's up, tipsies? This is Twyla's Tipsy Travels, and I am here for another installment of The Bachelorette, Round, Brown, and Abroad Edition. Okay, so um, in this episode of The Bachelorette, the guy that the guy that we're gonna focus on is hashtag top knot. Top knot. <laughs> um, the reason why I'm calling him top knot is because he had a top knot. Like it looked like at one point his hair was probably buzzed, like all the way to the scalp, and then he just grew out this hair on top, and now he looks like he might be trying to grow it. Maybe he's gonna do it all along, but all I know is he's got this little little nugget, little top knot right at the top, top of his head. I wanted to take it down so bad. I'm like, I wanna see what's happening here. Like, what does this look like down? Or you just won't run around with a top knot all the time. So, yeah, anyway. So he is Polish, my first non-Scot. Um, he is Polish and tall and slender. And, um, uh, again, another chef. I'm wondering if chef here is just a general term for cook. <laughs> like, I don't know. Because every chef that I've encountered, well, I guess you have different levels of chefs like you would have different levels of musicians. You have some musicians that are at the bottom and they're maybe street performers and only get a little bit of money and then you have musicians who are Beyonce, Rihanna, or, uh, or I don't know, like a band, like the Rolling Stones or something like that, like they're up there. Um, so maybe it's the same way in the cooking world that you have your low chefs and your high because all I know is the first chef I met had no teeth. And then the next chef I met had teeth but um, we're unfortunately a hot mess. Um, and this chef um, kind of had that artsy, hippie vibe. Like, total hippie. Like, you know, kind of had a hole in his shirt <laughs> or whatever. But it was like, I don't know, it just worked for him because he just had this whole thing. Like, he rode his bike all the way to see me and it was about a half hour bike ride. And he rode his bike all the way to see me. So, I don't know. But he was cute in a very gruff kind of way. Uh, it's nice. And, uh, I mean, we had some language barrier issues. <laughs> me trying to understand him. And um, I, must, I, I guess he was understood me, but I was trying to make sure that I wasn't talking all fast and crazy. So... That he could understand what I was saying, but, um, but yeah, and um, I don't know, very, I don't know if a Polish trait is being very straightforward, I think it is, he was saying that it is, like, it's straightforward, whatever, um, like, like, for instance, he was saying that if you ask someone how you're doing, like, how are you? like Scots and I, I said Americans are the same, will immediately say I'm fine, even though we may not be. It's just easier that way. Well, he says in Poland, they don't do that. They ask, how you doing? Ah, oh, you know, like I, I, I lost my job. Oh, well, you know what? I, uh, like I lost my wife and my home. Uh, that's worse than mine. <laughs> kind of thing like it makes you feel better to share miseries or something so I don't know anyway he's very straightforward also I feel like you know a, a little bit of an aggressor um, for instance uh, sitting there on the stool bar stool talking to each other at this bar and and he's just like how you taste in his accent, like, how you taste, or how do, I don't know, I don't think he said it properly, I don't think he said, how do you taste, I think he said, how you taste, and then just, like, went, like, <laughs> and, 
and like oh and then you know did a, a lip through the teeth pull like ow like ow there rough man <laughs> but um yeah so <laughs> there's that so um towards the end of our date our meeting it's <laughs> the funniest part he had already like I was already there when he got there and I already had a drink and so he didn't have to buy me that drink I had already been drinking and and then he got a beer he didn't like it and, and gave it to me and then got himself one another one and then he's just like you know he asked me if I wanted another and I said well maybe uh, you know we can do half pints we don't have to do a full pint and um, I said but I need to go to the bathroom <laughs> I go to the bathroom, I come back, and this is what was sitting on the bar. <laughs> this fool bought one beer and got two straws. <laughs> one beer and got two straws. I'm like, fool, this ain't a milkshake and this ain't the 1950s. <laughs> We're not in some 1950s diner. <laughs> um... And, uh, but here were the results. <laughs> and it was sweet, and it was, it was funny. Like, man, I've been meeting up with some funny, interesting fools, man. <laughs> but, yeah, it, I mean, it was good, and I, I did like him in a really weird way. I don't know whether I'll see him again or not. I have no idea. But, yeah, it was good. So, and that's that of that update. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, a like, a love, comment, follow, subscribe. Whether you're watching on YouTube or Facebook, I am here for you. And I am here to entertain. Anyway, as always, stay tipsy, my friends.